Chinese company Xuzhou Construction Machinery Group is well known around the world for its mining and construction heavy equipment. Now the company is making a name for itself in Australia because of a creative strategy and rising demand. Greg Navarro explains. What looks like a country fair on the outskirts of Sydney with plenty of places for kids to play is actually a showcase for the kind of heavy equipment that impacts our daily lives. Every time we, we buy a house, or every, uh, you know, it's, it's some form of equipment has been involved in building that or clearing the ground and preparing it. Uh, in the mining, all the dams for people in the country, they're dug out by machinery. The mining sector, they move massive amount of dirt. So all this equipment at some stage, doesn't matter what, you, what building you see, has been on a site. So it, it's an essential bit of equipment. The Dirt, Diesel and Turf Expo is Australia's largest construction industry expo. Companies come here to be seen, especially by people who work in the industry. The clients here uh, for the show, they are from uh, various sectors, you know, so uh, lots of uh, contractors, you know, pr uh, private business or, um, you know, even some rental companies. Being seen at this event for Chinese company XCMG is hugely important through a massive display of heavy machinery. It's been a big part of the company's strategy since it established an Australian division three years ago. Historically, the Chinese um, products in Australia have been not accepted, very poorly accepted. But I'm very conscious of the fact that we had to get out there and sell our business. XCMG started in China in 1943, eventually becoming the country's number one manufacturer of mining and construction machinery and number three in the world. Company officials say launching an Australian division during the pandemic required a creative approach. When the pandemic started and companies started cancelling componentry orders because they just didn't have the volume, they didn't have the demand, XCMG bought. So others were cancelling, XCMG were buying componentry to build. So they had the stock to build. They had plenty of componentry. Still to today, our lead time is very, very short. So we've got the componentry. So we sort of jumped the head of the field because we'd already taken all their stock. And while Australia has an established construction industry, it's also home to one of the world's largest mining industries, including iron ore and coal. Taking part in an event like this is always financially risky. The cost alone with getting the equipment here are substantial, and then there's the weather. But this year appears to be paying off. The company says it's sold about 90% of all the display vehicles you see here in just three days. Uh, look, for the last 10 to 15 years, these shows, you, you really don't sell up the stand. It's a rare thing. You might sell a machine or two machines. But to sell what we've sold in the third day, uh, is I'm amazed by it. Company officials said they plan to increase their focus here on the mining sector, where the industry's growth is increasing the need for newer and greener technology and equipment. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.